Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to migrate an Airtable database to Notion. And I'm also going to show you how you can do it while preserving linked records. For this tutorial, the only software you'll need is make.com, in addition to Airtable and Notion, of course. So let's get started. To begin, you'll need to export your Airtable base as a CSV and import it into Notion. Click on the name of your view in the left side of the toolbar. Select Download CSV. If you have linked records, make sure to download a CSV from the referenced tables as well. Then import your database into Notion. To import the CSVs as an inline database, create a database first, open the database as a page, click on the three dots in the top right, and select Merge with CSV. If you want to create a standalone database, click on the import in the left-hand menu and select CSV. Once you've imported your data, you'll need to do some quick manual cleanup of your database. Delete any blank records and fix any field types that were set incorrectly. As you're doing this, you'll probably notice that your linked field from Airtable has been set to a single select or a text field now that it's in Notion. You can repair this connection and preserve the reference with a simple automation in make.com, but you'll need to import the referenced table for your linked records first. Just make sure not to delete this field. We'll need it later. Export the linked database from Airtable and import it to Notion the same way as we just did before. Then, in the first database, add a relation field that references the second database. A relation in Notion is basically the same thing as a linked record in Airtable. And check the box that says, show on your second database, to make sure it's a two-way connection. This won't work if you only have a one-way connection configured. If you only have a dozen or so records, you can probably go ahead and fill in the relation field manually. But if you have a few hundred or thousands of records, that would probably involve a lot of tedious, error-prone work, which we can eliminate here. We'll show you how you can fill all of those relations in with a simple automation in make.com. For those who aren't familiar, Make, formerly known as Integromat, is a no-code, low-code automation platform. It lets you automate actions in web apps with a simple user interface. If you have coding experience, you can also write custom scripts and API calls in your automations, but you won't need to do any code for this particular automation. To get started, you'll need to add Make as an integration to Notion and ensure that your database is shared with Make. You can check out our earlier video about integrating Make and Notion for detailed steps here. If you're not seeing it on the screen now, you can find it in the description. Once the integration is set up, follow along with this video to configure each module. First, we'll have a trigger module that will watch records in your first database. In our example, that's our client directory table. Just copy the string of characters after your workspace name and before the question mark to get the database ID from the URL bar. On a personal account, this string will start after the notion.so since you won't have a workspace name. Click OK and run the module to grab some test data. To do this, right click on the module, select choose where to start, choose manually, and pick a record. Then click run once and you should see some test data here. In the next module, Make will search your second database for a record that matches the text from your broken linked field. Provide your second database ID, which you can find the same way as we did the first database ID. Then in the filter section, select the field that you want to search for, like the record name. Set this to be equal to the content of the broken linked field. So in other words, this search and filter will look through your second database for the title of the record that was supposed to be linked in the first database.
Finally, our third module will update the relation field in your first database with a reference to the record that you want to link. Enter the ID of your first database. For database item ID, toggle the switch that says map and enter the database ID retrieved in the first module. Then find the relation field in the list below. Make sure the map option is checked again and enter the page ID retrieved in the second module. You can leave all of the other fields blank. By leaving them blank, Make will just leave the content as it is. It will not delete anything. Test out your scenario again, and you should see your chosen record updated with a relation to the other database. If everything looks good, go back to your automation and run it again. This time, set the item limit to however many items you have in your database. It may take a little while to process every record, but it will be much faster and more accurate than going through every entry manually. And that's it. You're all set to migrate your Airtable database to Notion and convert all of your linked records to relations. If you have more linked records and relations, you can just repeat the process several times for each field. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no-code and low-code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, 